YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is McPato, this is McPato PC, and this is Watson. And today we're going to be bringing you a video showing you how you can make your very own bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive. All you'll need is an 8 gigabyte or greater capacity USB flash drive and access to the internet. So we're going to get to that right away. And uh, first step is going to be formatting the drive. So for that, plug it into your computer. And uh, we'll, I'm going to switch now to my, my desktop recording. And we're going to go through the steps one by one. Everything will be linked down in the description below. So links to the Microsoft download itself. Um, and then I'm going to have another link to the official product activation page for Microsoft. So if you want to buy a product key from Microsoft for your Windows 10 installation, that is an option. Uh, it's worth mentioning that at this time, I believe you can use the installed Windows 10 without activating it. And basically it's a working version. You can play games, you can write documents, whatever. The only thing is that you're gonna have in your lower right corner, you're gonna have a little watermark saying your product's not activated. And a reminder to go ahead and activate that. I don't think that's time restricted, so you could probably use it that way for as long as you like, uh, if you don't mind that watermark. But if you do wanna buy a version, you have two options, well, three, but we're not going to get into the third. The first is to buy it directly from Microsoft at the link that I have down below. I'm also going to link three websites. There's many, many more that sell OEM product keys uh, for Windows 10 at a considerable discount. The legitimacy of these uh, websites, I'm not vouching for them it's out there and other tech tubers are promoting or being sponsored by these uh, by these websites uh, they're still operating I mean it's definitely gray I don't know if it's uh, illegal or not and it's probably not illegal but um, that's up to you guys if that's something you want to consider doing that's an option so I mean I've seen for $12 US you can buy uh, Windows 10 Pro key, or again, you can go to uh, Microsoft's direct link and activate it that way, legitimately, 100%, no issues. So that's, you know, those are your choices. That's after the fact though, let's get right into how to go about getting the files, setting up your USB, and uh, we'll talk about the rest after. All right, let's move along to the formatting of your USB. All right, so here you guys can see the files that are on my USB. We're gonna format it. So just right click, go down to format. Once that's there, I changed it from FAT32 to NTFS. You don't have to do that, but I would recommend it. Um, my drive is 28 gigabytes, but you do only need eight to set this up. I changed the volume to Windows 10 USB, but you don't have to do that. Uh, it will give it a default name. So just for demonstration purposes, click OK here. It's just reminding you it's going to erase everything on the disk. And very quickly, uh, it formats the drive and you can close that. Then we're going to select download tool now and it will download it to your computer it's a pretty small download at this point so it goes pretty quick once it's done just open it up and you'll be greeted by this screen hit yes you get the, uh, the default license agreement here and they give you the option to decline or accept. Of course, if you decline it, you can't install it. So pretty much gives you just one choice. Let's 
So as I said, here's your license agreement. You can read it or not. I don't think anyone reads these, they're so long. But uh, I recommend you do read them because you never know what you're agreeing to. So once you hit accept, it'll go through the, uh, the final stages here of setting up your USB. It's gonna need to download the files as well. And that does take quite a while to complete. Uh, but here you're going to choose Create Installation Media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file for another PC. There's some default settings here, such as 64 bit windows. If you want to change that, take the check mark off the little box there, and then you can choose to set up 32 bit or both. Uh, I recommend 64 for most of you, obviously. And then it's going to ask you if you want to download the ISO file or create a USB flash drive. We want to create a USB flash drive. Hit next, then hit next again. This part does take a while, so I'm going to cut the video here at around 5%. But it's going to download, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to show you the next step in this process. All right, so here we are, we're at 98% downloaded, 99. Once it's done, it's just gonna verify the download and then move on to the next step in the process. So here, here it is, it's gonna verify the download and then it's gonna to wanna to create the actual bootable USB. So now that the we skipped ahead here. Now that the USB is created, you're gonna get this, your flash drive is ready. Just go down to the bottom and click next. All right, so once we've finished creating our Windows 10 uh, bootable USB, just restart your computer and go into your UF UEFI or BIOS. That'll depend on whoever manufactured your motherboard. With ASUS, you just smash the delete button repeatedly when you restart the computer, and it'll get you into your UEFI. You can also use the F1 key to get to the same place. Once you're in here, tab over to your boot selection. Go down to your boot options. Set your primary option to your, U your USB, which in my case is the uh, this one here and then we're gonna go to exit save changes and reset confirm that and then once it make sure obviously your USB is plugged into the computer restart it now and it should detect that there's a bootable version of Windows or an operating system on the USB and it should launch your installation for Windows 10. It does appear to be working so we're just gonna wait for it to load the installer. Alright so there we are it booted successfully and then you're just going to select the appropriate uh, language, time, keyboard layout, etc. Follow the prompts, hit next, and that'll be pretty much that easy to install your Windows 10 on your computer. Whether it's a new computer or an old computer, uh, then you're just reinstalling Windows or replacing an older version of Windows. This will get that done for you. As you can see, it's very, very easy to get that up and running. And uh, as I say, if you want to operate it, try it out maybe without activating it. You don't need a key to complete the installation. When you get to the part where it wants you to enter your product key, you can select you don't have a product key and it still lets you complete the install. And as I say, I think it's a fully functioning version of Windows at that point. 
all that uh, you'll see is in the bottom right corner here you're gonna have a little watermark that remind that wants to remind you to activate your Windows product uh, but otherwise you should be able to game on it and everything else hopefully this video was helpful I'm not gonna complete the installation because I have Windows on my computer currently and I don't want to replace it but this was just to show you that it will boot successfully if you use the Windows 10 installer and as you can see it's very easy you don't need any other uh, software to set this up. Alright guys, hopefully this helped you. Thanks again for tuning in. My name again is McPato. If this video was helpful, please hit the, the like button. If you didn't like it, of course, the dislike button. And consider subscribing. Uh, that would help me out a whole bunch. Alright guys, we're going to end the video here. Hopefully it was helpful and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.